Hi, I just received my first order from High Point Scientific. I got a brand new OTA, a mount, and some accessories. So we're going to go through the unboxing. For the Celestron Advanced VX uh, mount, you can see it's uh, looking, looking pretty good. Not perfect, but not bad. Here's the box for the OTA. A little dinged up. I think it'll be okay. This is for the accessories. It's a smaller box. It looks to be in the best shape. Open the box for the mount now. Let's take a look inside and see how it's packaged. Well. Looks like we have another box. The inner box for the Celestron. And here we have more boxes. And it looks like some documentation. Documentation for the uh, Nexstar Plus hand control with USB. This is a uh, go-to mount, the uh, Celestron Advanced CX. So this looks like the documentation that goes with that. Uh, so the first box in no particular order is uh, a little funny. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's like some bubble wrap and <laughs> that whole box just for the cables. Another oddly shaped one. Well, oh, so these are pieces of the mount, plastic pieces to the mount, and just more packing. And I'm hoping the manual says what these are. First of all the boxes, I'm almost certain this is heavier than the big tripod box, so this must be a substantial part of the mount. I'll show you how it's packaged in there. Oh, don't open it like that. Yeah. Ah, of course. So this is the counterweight for the gem mount. And that is a really nice, hefty piece. Ah. This is going to be... The actual mount. There's the handset for the go-to, and there's a uh, helpful note saying to save all this foam, which is very important so you can make your own case. And there's a beautiful look at the Celestron Advanced BX mount. Also included it is the bar for the counterweights and a couple of what look like mounting screws, but I think we'll learn more about that when I assemble it. In the Celestron Advanced VX mount packing box. I've got a good idea what this piece might be. And sure enough, it's the tripod. So that looks pretty good. Um, before I take it out, it has a uh, tray for eyepieces. And uh, looks like there's some more bubble wrap parts in there. Looks really good. Open the OTA. Similar to the Advanced VX, we have another box inside of this one. How many boxes the OTA is nested? So this is the uh, Mead LX70. It's an F5 Newtonian reflector. It's a short tube, and uh, because it's a Mead, it sure is pretty. No um, real foam we can use to make or pack our own case. You can see there's a lot of empty space 
in there. Um, there's really just two pieces of styrofoam at the end. So we're going to have to, when it comes to transporting and storing this, because it's a reflector and tends to not do well when it gets jostled, at some point I'm going to have to cut my own foam and uh, find my own case for it. So here's a shot down the tube. One of the things I wasn't sure of when I ordered the LX70 is whether or not it had a centering spot. I'm not sure if you can see it in the uh, shot, but if you can't, just take my word for it. There is a centering spot on the Mead LX70. Much to say about the condition of these two boxes that came with the Mead. Uh, these were in the same box as the OTA. You can see that might be a, um, a focuser cap or collimation cap. This one I think was attacked by a dog or a bear. I'm not sure what's in there. Mounting, finder strip mount. Oh, a couple little tools. Like a screwdriver and a wrench, a box and wrench. Ah, these are my two eyepieces. So these are the two eyepieces that come with the um, R6 box. This is just some uh, accessories I ordered. There's the packing slip. Okay. So there were a couple of um, freebies that came with my order. This is the first one. It's a finder scope uh, for the the CG5. I got the Advanced VX, but it's the same thing. It's the um, it's the polar scope that you use for your polar alignments. Uh, this is the uh, coma corrector that I ordered. It's the High Point branded coma corrector. Um, we're going to try some astrophotography with this OTA, and since it's a Newtonian, um, on a uh, a two inch focuser and I need an adapter anyway, um, I thought I'd upgrade to the coma corrector. Astrophotography, this is the T-ring to, to allow the camera to connect. Uh, this is my uh, two by Barlow lens. It also is, um, is high point branded. And last but not least, this is a soft case for the uh, Advanced VX mount. It was the other freebie that came with the mount along with the polar finder scope. You can see it's um, made by Sirius. Uh, it's a nylon soft bag. It comes in uh, navy and orange. Um, the, the navy was on the freebie. So this is the bag for the uh, CG5. It's kind of a nice nice little perk with your with your mount order. Get my uh, my entire order. This is my uh, first order from High Point Scientific. Everything looks like it's in uh, really good shape. Um, starting with the uh, Celestron Advanced VX uh, tripod. This is the go-to controller. This is the mounting uh, the tray for eyepieces and the uh, the center of the tripod. The two mounting screws for the Advanced VX mount to attach them to the tripod. This is the actual mount itself. It is. It looks very nice. It's very heavy. Um, it looks like a, a very nice mount. This is the uh, counterweight and uh, the uh, one of the communication cables for the uh, mount. This is a uh, a mounting bracket. This is uh, one of the the power that comes with it. It's not AC. It's for a, you know that car connector. This is the uh, bar for the uh, counterweight and. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the for the pieces for the mount. Uh, this is the bag that the uh, mount should uh, fit in with the um, foam that came in the box. So we have a couple of different um, finder scopes over here. One is the uh, finder scope that came with the uh, mead. Um, this is the one that'll just attach with uh, with this bracket onto the side of the um, OTA. Uh, this is the polar alignment scope that came free from um, High Point Scientific with my mount. This is the High Point uh, two times Barlow lens. This is the uh, High Point Coma corrector with a uh, T-ring adapter. You can see those both come with um, dust caps. This is the uh, 
uh, Celestron T-ring adapter for the Canon uh, EOS series camera. These are the two eyepieces that came with the Mead. They both came with dust caps, but as you can see, there's no um, eye relief um, or eye, eye covers for them. Uh, these are just re really flat, so be aware of that um, if you purchase one of the last uh, LX. These have been uh, uh, discontinued, including this R6 that I have. Uh, this is the uh, two inch focuser cap. So on the um, focuser right now, the 1.25 adapter looks like it's already installed and it already has the uh, 1.25 focuser cap on it. And uh, finally, this is the uh, Mead um, uh, LX70 R6 uh, Newtonian reflector. It's a, uh, got a focal length of 750 millimeters and it's, a, uh, it's an F5. And uh, that's my entire uh, High Point Scientific haul, so uh, if I owe you any money, uh, don't hold your breath.